am with the very amazing John Gallagher, who is going to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award tonight from Life. Congratulations to you, John. Thank you so much. Very well deserved. Now, how many movies have you been involved in? Over 40, right? Yeah, in over the last 40 years. In fact, it was 40 years ago this month, I was directing my very first feature. Uh, and what was that? It was called, uh, the original title was Down the Shore. It was kind of like a West Side Story on the Jersey Shore. Italian kids from Brooklyn, preppy kids from Philly, and uh, New Line Cinema bought it, and they changed the title to Beach House. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, that was that was the first one. Yeah, and you've had some other popular ones. You've had The Networker, right? Name some of them. Uh, the Networker, The Deli was very popular. In fact... Uh, the festival did a retrospective uh, uh, 20th anniversary uh, screening of the deli just two years ago. Blue Moon with Rita Moreno and oh, Ben Gazzara, Zach Braff in one of his first movies. Uh, yeah, and uh, in this festival, actually, you have the short film Wink, right? Yes, that was one of the best experiences I ever had. It screened last night, and you know, I wanted to come last night, and I, my schedule, I was nearby, and I just couldn't make it, and I, I thought of you all night. Were, you, were your ears ringing? Well, thank you. I, I'll, I'll send you a link. I'll oh, send you a link. I love that. It's, I'm very proud of it. It's, uh, it's a great group of actors that I've worked with a number of times. Anthony Grasso's in that? Yes, Anthony. Uh, I met 25 years ago when my partner at the time, Sylvia Kaminer, was directing him in a play. I had not seen him since. And uh, but I I had seen some of his work. He's wonderful. In fact, he he won the best supporting actor here yes, this year. Yeah, yes, he did. Yes. So, so now now I tried to look for the trailer online for Wink. Do you have one? I didn't see it. No, and I always find uh, trailers for short films to be a little odd. Oh, okay. It's the it would have to be really short. Just g just give us an idea. What is Wink about? Is it quick as a Wink? Wink it's is nine a, minutes, right? Nine minutes. Nine it's minutes. it's basically it's about a couple that have been together for years they have a child but they're not married and uh they had a crazy party the night before and this is the morning after they're recovering and there's this hideous huge one-eyed dog in their living room they have no idea how it got there and that's they find out how it got there oh, and, and we have to, we have to see the movie to find out so, John, do you have a website where we can follow you? I uh, Facebook is probably the best thing, or IMDb, IMDb Pro. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, congratulations again. Lifetime Achievement Award, John Gallagher. Whose resume includes indie films Blue Moon, The Dell, Men Lie. She's a previous life winner for Tanzania and is currently working on her narrative feature directional debut, Follow Her, currently shooting. Please use your whole hand and welcome Sylvia Kaminer. Kaminer. I messed that up. I screwed that up. Are you Sylvia? Hi, Sylvia. I care very much about, he was a, he's a great friend and a mentor and a great filmmaker. Um, I met John Gallagher when I first got to the city after college about 25 years ago. I had a big dream to make movies and no path to get there. I, I didn't know anybody, I'd never been involved in film. And I met John and my whole life kind of changed. Things just started taking off. Actors rather flocked to him. He, he makes set, it's like a celebration of life and film every day because he has so much passion for it that you're on set and it's hard work but you're enjoying it. And John creates a very safe set, so actors feel like they can explore, and he allows them to, to improv. He got Iman to be a, a junkie, uh, the most beautiful woman in the world, and she looked like a junkie. We had David Johansson played a crazy out-there cab driver. Ice-T delivered meat. He was the meat man. Chris Noth was the garbage man, all because they just wanted to come and have fun and get to improv and work with John. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's very special to me is this short uh, we did called Wink that played last night. You know, it, um, and I know there's a lot, of, a lot of young, thank you, a lot of young filmmakers here in this audience. You know, when, when I, I knew no one in the business when I started, um, I didn't have any relatives in the business, didn't come from money. I was able to raise uh, a quarter of a million dollars from a CPA in Deer Park to make an epic called Down the Shore, which New Line bought and renamed Beach House. Uh, and that was, that started, you know, that started the career. And, you know, I, looking for a cinematographer, we put an ad in backstage or show business, one of those, and a guy responded, and I told him about the project, and he said, forget it, you'll never do it, never. You can't do it, it's impossible. Well, a year later, he was the first person that I called to invite to the screening. That's the Sicilian in me, what can I tell you? Uh, now, you know, cut to like 35 years later, and um, I was uh, recovering from the fire that put me in this wheelchair, and the doctors gave me a 10% chance of survival. They say you will never be able to work at your chosen profession again. Uh, a month after I got out of the hospital, I was in, a, in there for six months, I directed a, a movie, a feature. And uh, since then, I've done nine movies. So that's, so kids, that's what you do when somebody says you can't do something. You just do it. Just listen to, listen to what's in here. That's really all, all that counts. Again, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Deborah. Thanks to life, Sylvie, thank you, and uh, enjoy, and congratulations to everyone else. Wow, congratulations to you. Keep your hands clapping, keep your hands clapping to Mr. John Gallagher, y'all. Use your whole hand. Very impressive, John. Very impressive, John. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Ann's house burned down. And then this one over here, Mr. Gallagher, yeah, I was shooting a movie a week after my fire burned me up. And they gave me a week to live. I used that week to write a film. Everybody's trying to one up me tonight. No, very impressive career, my friend. I wish I could have a resume as long as yours. Give it up one more time. To Mr. John Gallagher. The acting awards were judged a few weeks ago, but will be presented tonight. To present the acting awards, please welcome back Abigail Hawk. Give it up for Abigail Hawk! So, it is my pleasure to present the acting awards tonight. Let's get to it. The Best Supporting Actor Award goes to Anthony Robert Grasso. And I looked over and I thought, I have this beautiful woman. And we have this 
amazing daughter. And we've been together 15. 15 years. And I know deep down that she really wants to get married. And I know deep down that I don't want to be with anybody else. So I screamed. I screamed it on the top of my lungs so everybody could hear me. And did they? Did they hear it? Yeah, some people in the streets are cheering. <laughs> and what did I say? I'll think about it. <laughs> Sounds like me. And then you kissed me. So thank you for awarding me this. And Deborah, Henry, and uh, Regina, Corey, Trisha, you guys are amazing. Awesome. Barbara, <laughs> thank you so much. I know John about 20 years, and we never got to work together. And uh, actually, I'm going to go. Over here. Where are you? There you go. Um, he called me and he said, "Hey, I think I got a part for you." And I just I immediately just said, "When and where?" You know, I didn't even know the script yet. And the script came in, and I flipped. I said, "John, it's like a Shanley piece." It just had this heart. I related to this character very much, so thank you. For I am with two presenters tonight, Geraldine Lear and Sal Rendino. How exciting to have you here. It's phenomenal, uh, although I don't like taking second banana to her name. <laughs> I was going. No, I was. I was going left to right. That's why I'm going. Of a I'm, I'm going left to right. <laughs> so Sal, you know, you're no stranger to the Long Island International Film Expo, no. right? For some reason, they have been foolish enough to keep me coming back and year after year. Yes. You, you want to know? I can tell you a secret. I just saw the rushes on something you're filming now. I can't Which tell you. One? I can't tell you. Is it one moment? I can't tell you. Or is it? Because I wasn't supposed to see it, and I just happened to be there, and I saw it. I said, oh, my God, that's Sal Rendino. They said, How oh, the he's look. phenomenal. And they said, he can play anything. I said, I know. So I'm going to take all Geraldine's good? parts from now on. <laughs> just to so be now spiteful. Geraldine and Sal are married, but not in real life. But not, 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 not in real life. But they play one. So, so they do it for money. So tell everybody what it is. We're in a, a new film called Shoplifters of the World. Yes, yeah, Stephen Kejak. Oh my goodness! Great, like uh, semi-biographical story from the '80s. Are you working on it, or it's completed? It's completed. Yeah, it's, it's, about, it's about to blow the roof off it. the dump. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Now, you, your foundation is really in theater, right? Will you have a theater That's back? Where I started. Yeah, yeah. Um, in New York at the Roundabout. I've worked there a couple of times, and at a lot of regional theater. Yeah, but right now more TV and film. More TV and film. Yeah. Yeah. You have a you have a good look. Do you play the mom a lot? I do. I'm playing the mom. Um, I'm Karen Stone, the mom on Manifest on NBC right now. And um, just you can't get him on. Uh, well, I, I'm afraid moms don't have that much power. Mm. I'm also I could the be mom. Your side piece. Is that what the kids say? I don't know what that means. But listen, do you guys want to shout out some websites? Salrendino.com. Yeah. GeraldineLear.com. And the winner for Best Horror Film is Karen. Yeah. That's Karen, that's the baby. from around the world unite us all. The 2019 Life Award for Best Foreign Film goes to Terilyn and Lun Lun. They say that story is everything. The clips for best story are Life Award for Best Story goes to The Gift of the Red Fern.
I'm here with Amanda Ramirez, and she has a very interesting film. It's about sports. The name of your film is Indestructible Baseball on the Isthmus. I got attached to it while I was doing research for a spec script for Roberto Clemente, his biopic. Um, it did. His rights were bought by the family, bought the rights, I mean, actually sold the rights to his film, but in the process of doing that, I had done research and I came across this film in during production about the history of baseball in Latin America. I reached out to the director, Eric Susanen, who's from Brooklyn. So he's a local guy, he's from New York. So, so tell me, did baseball start in Latin America after the United States or was oh, yes. it before? It yes, it did after the United States, but there's an interesting twist because people think there are certain countries where it originated, whether it's Venezuela, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, based on the influence of players from those countries, but it's a, it's, it actually started in a country that no one would suspect. So therein lies the little twist of oh, the story. And how many minutes is it? Well, the, the short is here. The, the trailer's here three minutes, but the movie right now is in post-production, and it's over 90 minutes. So fingers crossed that we're able to release it soon. Now, is this your first uh, journey into this filmmaking? Uh, no, actually, I did a short documentary about a neighbor a neighborhood in Panama called Coco Solo. Um, I was an associate producer for a film a documentary on Alan Ladd Jr., who was the son of Alan Ladd Shane. Yeah. So he was the CEO of MGM and 20th Century Fox. That's Laddie Man behind the movies. And then I did a feature not too long ago that's on Hallmark Movies now. Right now it's called My First Miracle. Uh, very nice. Good luck to you. you. Got a website. Yes, it's actually www.panamabaseball.com. We're on Facebook as Panama Baseball. So tune in. A movie trailer must entice you to see the film without giving away too much. It's a difficult feat. Let's look at the nominees for best trailer. And the winner for best trailer is Indestructible Baseball on the Isthmus. On behalf of the director, Eric Susanen, who's not here, big ups to Brooklyn. Thank you so much. Thank you to Life, uh, specifically Debbie, Annie, uh, Corey, and Henry. Trish, everybody. On behalf of my father's homeland, sigue luchando para la libertad, Puerto Rico. And on behalf of my mother, who's Panamanian, whose who's hometown basically is the history and uh, the, the creation of baseball in Latin America, sigo luchando para la para la deporte de, de, de baseball. Thank you, God bless, good night. I'm with Phil Snyder and Robert Snyder, and they have a film in the festival called The Driving Dead. That's an interesting name. What is that about, Phil? He's the writer. You ask him. He's the writer, but you watched I, I it. I film it, yeah. <laughs> one, one person I met described it as a sort of an uber nightmare. Uh, but it, it wasn't intended to be that way. But uh, Is it a zombie movie? No, no. It's actually about, it's more based on, you know, the myth of the river Styx? the Greek myth. Yes. There's a guy named Sharon that carries you across to the other world. Okay. Well, this guy gets picked up hitchhiking and he's the guy keeps texting all the time and he's he's obsessed with texting to somebody and he finds out that he's taking him to the other world. Oh no. He finds out while he's texting? He's texting uh, the Grim Reaper. So he's oh my! To get permission to go over to. Uh, Ooh! Now is this a short film? Yeah, it's about five how, how many minutes? Five, five, minutes. five minutes. And now uh, you filmed this. What did you, what did you yeah. film it on? I filmed it on a Panasonic uh, HVX 200 camera. Yeah. Okay. And what town did you shoot this in? Uh, actually, we shot it in Atlantic Beach, but you'd never know it because it all takes place inside a car. Okay. And we had to. The car wasn't moving. And, yeah, the car wasn't moving, and so what I had to do was green, put green screen, green paper on the outside, and then we shot exterior shots and had to key them in. But we couldn't have the car moving because we were filming inside the car. So that's that was the challenge to making the film. Oh. So the guy that was the driver doesn't even have a driver's license. He's never driven <laughs> before. He's not really a taxi driver. We've this we've made many films. We've been making movies since we were about ten years old, actually. Oh, brother, so, brother, uh, brother. Yeah. Okay, is there a website where we can uh, see the trailer, perhaps? It's on Vimeo. Vimeo.com. Yeah. Vimeo.com. Yeah. And yeah. The name of it is The Driving Dead. That's right. Yep. That's Thank you, guys.
I'm here with Mario Corey, and he has a episodic called The Parking Spot, and I had to giggle because I'm overdoing my parking spot right now, and I hope I don't come back to a ticket. So tell us something about The Parking Spot. Uh, the Parking Spot was uh, started about two years ago, and I, it's just a true story. It happened to me, and I saw somebody looking for a parking spot, and this is how I came up with this idea. But it was strange how it started that these two people virtually were going for the same spot and one person actually pulled a gun yeah, on I was the just going to say you could kill each other on the spot, right? <laughs> yeah, and this almost came to that. And it's that, like parking spot rage instead of road rage. Yes, it is. I mean, you know, if one person is backing <laughs> in, the other person is pulling in. There was an in. episode on uh, Seinfeld, Seinfeld about that with George. That was right. hilarious, yes. But I turned this into an episodic about, uh, you know, it's more about people getting together, finding common ground. Okay. And how many minutes does it run? Uh, this is 10 minutes, but uh, I did this in digi format. Each episode is going to be about 15 minutes. And can we see a trailer online? Or Yes, it is on Facebook.com. You can go to Facebook.com slash the parking spot, and the trailer is there, plus other clips. And it stars Are you, are you acting? I was just going to say, yeah. you acting. Okay, so it's starring Mario Corey. And Kathy Curtin. And Kathy Curtin. Yeah, Kathy Curtin of Orange is the New, New Black, uh, Stranger Things, uh, Homeland. She's a wonderful actress. Oh, and she's good. great in this, though. Well, we're going to look for it. I am with filmmaker David Chai, and he has not one, but two movies in the Long Island International Film Expo. And one is Alter Ego, Alternate Ego. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Tell me something about Alternate Ego. So Alternate Ego is about kind of the perils of dating in the social media world. Okay. And, and it's about a, woman, a guy who gets a friend request from a girl on a social media and the next day he runs into her. And after a whirlwind romance, um, she wants to meet his father, who's a very rich and elusive figure. But after that meeting happens, she vanishes. Oh, so it's a mystery. Yeah, so we, so then the father says his company's being hacked. Oh. So she was media, up to no good. Her social media profile disappears. So is that also a social dating site too? Um, is it's it kind a dating of a, site or just social media? It's kind of a ripoff of Facebook. Um, okay. But I wanted to kind of explore this idea that maybe what you see isn't what you get. And how many minutes is that? It's a 19 minute short film. 19 minutes. Now, um, what is your other film? Uh, my other film is called Pass the Buck. And uh, I did that as part of a 51 hour uh, oh, competition. Yes, yes, I've heard of that. Who runs that? Uh, this was for the PGA Producers Guild. Oh. Okay. make your mark competition so uh, their theme was uh, you needed to do something based off Sidney Pollock uh -huh. so I've chose Michael Clayton as a kind of a template to do the film I had two male actors and a corporate espionage where one banker was framing the other banker for um, for uh, corruption and then the younger banker wanted to call him out and make him confess Oh, so you're into the, kind of like the the mystery type of thing. Yeah, I definitely like themes where you have to engage and, and think a little bit about, you know, why these characters are yeah. doing And uh, are you from New York? Uh, I'm based in Manhattan. Oh, you're from, so you didn't have to come too far. So now, uh, how many minutes is the second one? Uh, so Pass the Buck was five minutes long. Okay. And uh, what did you shoot on? Uh, so for Pass the Buck, it was the uh, Sony mirrorless A7R three. And for uh, Alternate Ego, it was the Red Monster 8K camera. Oh. Now, are you also an actor? Uh, I have studied acting and I have done a few very minor roles, but I haven't done any acting for a oh, long so time. So you're one of the rare uh, screenwriters that doesn't put himself in the movie. <laughs> um, I mean, a lot I of people do. They write their own movie and they use it as a vehicle. True. Um, I think it's just too much... A lot, a, a big, a heavy hat. And and yes. I, I'd really um, admire the, the people that can do both hats in front and behind, but I don't want to do that. It's enough that you have two, two films in the expo. So where do you go from here? What do you have next? You're writing anything more? Um, I have a, a feature that I'm trying to get the financing for at the moment. Oh, okay. And what's the premise of that? Are you allowed to say? Um, it's a romance drama, kind of in the vein of Nicholas Sparks, notebookish, 
Um, okay. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm working on. And um, I'm grateful to the Long Island uh, Film Expo because my first feature film was here last year. Um, and what was the name of that? That was called CG Driver. And that was last year? Last year. So yeah. I'm really happy to be back here. Um, everyone here is wonderful. Okay, do you have a website? Uh, yes, so davidchai.com, D-A-V-I-D-C-H-A-I.com. And you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And now a special award. This is the Audience Award. It is the only award that has been decided by audience votes alone. Um, do we have the winner right here? Let's uh, see who this is. So the Audience Award goes to Interview with the Hitman. You can melt it from here. Come on, Fred Carpenter. <laughs>